Hello everyone! Welcome to Body and Brain Live class. This is Jung Shim. How are you today? So good to see you. So let's say hello to everyone. Um, thank you for joining. Jay, um, how are Ga, Hi, Kang, Kai, Paulette here in Hawaii. Aloha! Okay, welcome. Thanks for joining. And Adriana, good morning from Las Vegas. Thank you. And Jurgita, hello from Chicago. Happy Friday. Yes, this is Friday. And Francis, happy May Day. Yes, from New Jersey, Francis and Ron. So today is the 1st of May already. So it's the beginning of the month. Yes, happy May Day. And Adriana, happy Friday to you. Okay, and Ruta, happy Friday from Chicago. Okay. And Stephanie, well, welcome from Rhode Island. Yeah, thank you. And Maria from Texas. Okay, thank you so much for joining everybody. So today our topic is Bladder Meridian. And Harshika Nim, welcome from Atlanta. So um, Bladder Meridian is uh, the longest meridian channel among the 12 meridian channels. So like we have 12 months in a year, we have 12 major meridians. And so far we learned about the lungs, large intestines, and stomach, and spleen. And also um, we have been studying the different uh, meridians. And today our topic is a uh, bladder. Bladder is located at our dungeon, lower abdomen area. It's in charge of our water accumulation and water uh, circulation, right? So the bladder meridian, let me share with you the location first. The bladder meridian starts from the eyes, from your inside, your eyes, your eyes, and then going up to your head, to the top of your head, and flowing through the back of your head, and following along your neck, through along the spine. So there's a two different lines, but it all flows along the spine all the way down to your sacrum area and down to your hips and then going through the back of your legs back of your legs back of your knees back of your calves and to the side of your foot and to your pinky toes the little toes outside of your little toes so as you can see Starting from your eyes, all the way to the back of your head, to your neck, through your spine. So this channel is actually the longest meridian channel of a human body. And also it is said the longevity channel, which means if your energy circulation in bladder meridian is improving, we can become healthy and we have more vital energy. That's how important your bladder meridian is. The simply speaking, how can we improve the energy circulation of the bladder meridian is increasing the flexibility of your back and your legs. And as we know, as we grow older, we lose flexibility due to the stress and lack of exercise and so forth. So the simplest way to check your condition of your bladder meridian uh, is a simple stretching exercise. So are you ready? Okay. Um, so you can do it in a, a sitting posture or standing posture. So let me start with a sitting posture first, okay? So the bladder meridian starting from your inside of your eyes, going up to your head, you can gently follow that. You have your point on top of your head, the back the toughest, uh, the highest point, and right next to it, the energy flows through that point and through the back of your head and back of your neck and along the spine going all the way down through the spine you can feel your sacrum area sacrum and your back of your legs okay so first uh, would you hold your one foot like this hold your one foot okay now take a deep breath breathe in we're gonna stretch a little bit forward as much as you can if you try to stretch your legs, the part you feel some tension here, 
is your bladder meridian. You still you feel some tension, right? Okay, just do your best as much as you can. Just do your best. Okay. And then return. Come back. One more time. Breathe in deeply. Slowly, slowly. Just push as much as you can. If you can stretch, you can stretch. If you not, then that's okay. Just about this much is okay. But feel which part of your legs you feel the tension. Okay. Very good. One more time. Now I hope you can recognize where the bladder meridian is. Okay, slowly breathe in. Stretch as much as you can with a smile. Yes. Victoria from Cape May, New Jersey. Okay, and Yvonne, welcome. And Katie from Boston, thank you. Slowly come back. <sighs> not easy, right? Okay. So some of you felt uh, more flexible, some of you are not. That's okay. What's important is feeling your condition and checking your condition without any comparison to others, okay? So would you check your pinky toe and outside of your pinky toe that's the ending point of your bladder meridian so once again starting point from your eyes inside of your eyes here and then growing up flowing down through your spine all the way down through the back of your legs all the way down to your back of your knees calves and flowing out to your pinky toe okay very good. Now, oh, Ivan from Lebanon, welcome. Thanks for joining. Now let's massage. Massage the pinky toe. Your, your pinky toes are connected to your bladder meridian. So when you massage your pinky toe, you can improve those energy circulation. One minute massage. So you can, you can use your both thumb and index fingers and massage your pinky toe. <sighs> and breathe out with a smile. Ha. <sighs> All right. Very good. So, give a gentle pressure and rubbing, rubbing, pressure and rubbing, rubbing, okay? So, it's a very good self-healing exercise for energy circulation. So, when your bladder meridian is activated, you will have a good water energy circulation. So, bladder and kidneys are in charge of our water energy circulation. All right, good. Now, try one more time. Hold your foot, just one foot, and breathe in and gently push and relax as much as you can. You can gently turn. And come back to the center. Feel the tension and stretching energy from the back of your legs. Very good. Slowly return. Okay, good job. Now let's switch. Switch the foot. The other foot. Okay, are you ready? Usually your left and right side is different because we use one side more than the other. And also our balance, our posture is not always in the balance, right? So let's check one more time. Hold your foot, slowly, try to stretch. Oh, Prem, hello from India, wow, welcome. Okay, now feel your back of your legs. So your bladder meridian starting from your eyes, through the back of your head, down through your spine, to your sacrum, back of your thighs, back of your knees, here, and all the way to your pinky toes. Okay, slowly come back. <sighs> Relax your body. Okay, just check your condition first. Uh, you don't have to overdo it, okay? Just do as much as you can. You don't have to fully stretch. Just do your best according to your condition, okay? Now breathe in, 
stretch as much as you can and feel which part you feel the tension usually you feel the tension in the back of your legs right that area is your bladder meridian all the way to the back stretch a little bit more smile and breathe out okay return you feel warmer in your body right okay good now this time uh, let's massage our pinky toes pinky toes your pinky toes hold it with your thumb and index fingers and your outside of your pinky toe is the ending point of your bladder meridian so gently press and rub and massage and it it might be better if you press a little bit harder if you want unless if it's too painful okay so massage ha ah, breathe ah. Ah. So by massaging your pinky toes, you can activate the energy from your bladder meridian channel. Okay? All right. 30 seconds more. Feel your pinky toes. Pinky toes. And breathe out naturally. Ha. Ah. Okay, now by doing those energy circulation movements, you can increase the energy flow in your um, bladder, okay? All right. Yeah, feel most tension back of the knee. That's very natural, yes. That's why we need some of the stretching exercises like this, right? So that you can improve your flexibility. Okay, so hold your leg one more time. Hold your foot. Ready? Breathe in. Gentle stretch, just as much as you can, and stay there and breathe. You may feel stretching like this much or this much, it doesn't matter. As much as you can and just hold it there. Each time you exhale, breathe out and have the intention that you stretch this part, usually back of your legs, right, knees and thighs. You are stretching that area with energy. <sighs> Breathe out. Push the energy. Breathe out. <sighs> Breathe out. <sighs> Breathe out. <sighs> okay, slowly come back. And return. Okay. Very good. How do you feel? Doing okay? All right. So this time, let's do some uh, Qigong training for your upper body, for your uh, bladder meridians. It's a very simple exercise. Our muscles can open up through the repetition of tension and relaxation. Just like a heart is beating. Tension and relaxation, tension and relaxation. If you give your body muscles tension and relaxation, that area will be opened. So the simple exercise we're gonna do today is bring your arms up, make a fist, and gently squeeze your upper body down. So you squeeze your back muscles like this for 10 seconds, okay? So we're gonna bring your hands together Squeeze and open up your back muscles as, as round as possible for 10 seconds. Ready? Okay, go. Squeeze. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. Okay, this time, the other side. You open your chest. Open your chest as much as you can, okay? Ready, open, focus on the back, one, two, three, imagine your shoulder blades are meeting, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, relax, okay, good job everybody, one more time, we're gonna go inside together, breathe in, squeeze in, make your back round, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, and relax your body. Relaxation. Now open your chest, open your hands to the side. Now touching your shoulder blades are together. That's the feeling you have. Open your chest. 10 seconds. One, two, smile. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job. One more time. Usually we do this exercise is three sets. Okay. Now where to go, right? You know where to go together. Your hands coming closer. Your back is opening wider. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Putting your chin down a little bit. That's your bladder meridian. Nine, ten. Relax your body. Don't you feel this area, right? Your back along the spine all the way down to your muscles, okay? Now that's your bladder meridian channels. Now open your chest. Open a little bit wider. 10 seconds. Go! What? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slowly start. Okay, now bring your hands together in front of your chest. Two, three inches apart. Okay. Relax your shoulders and your elbows slightly detached. Breathe in. Bring your palms apart and breathe out. Again, breathe in and breathe out. One more time, breathe in and breathe out. Okay. You have energy between your hands. Now bring your hands to your bladder to the lower abdomen, about two, three inches apart. And close your eyes. Uh -huh. Yes. Nuts in the back crack. Okay. That means opening up. Okay, Doris. Now sending energy to your bladder. Close your eyes. Let's send energy to our bladder for one minute. Imagine your bladder. Sending pure bright energy, life particles to your bladder. Breathe naturally and comfortably. Now focus on your bladder meridians, your eyes, the inside, right next to your nose, along the forehead, top of your head, back of your head, back of your neck, along the spine, feel your sacrum. down to your hips, your thighs, back of your thighs, back of your knees, calves and heels, and outside of your toes, okay. Now let's take a deep breath, breathe in, and breathe out. Again, breathe in deeply and breathe out once again breathe in deeply and exhale okay how do you feel i hope you feel more awakened open and much clearer in your head your body get warmer right we call it water of fire down or happy cow Cool head, open heart, and warm abdomen. So uh, from time to time, please do some stretching exercise, like standing posture, you can just go down to the floor, right? Even in a sitting posture, you can reach out to your toes. Those are the best exercise for longevity and healthier energy circulation in your bladder meridian channels. Also, feeling energy and sending energy to your internal organs is also a very good practice. So, 
Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, would you share what you felt and experienced in a chat box or in the comment box? Okay. Stephanie, yes, warmer. Thank you. Yes, that's very important. Uh, our body temperature is also highly connected with our immunity. So when your body temperature rises, our immunity becomes stronger together. But when our body temperature goes down, then our immunity goes down together. And many research is showing that. Okay, Rand, I'm feeling so much better. Get bright, thank you. Okay, so uh, please uh, don't forget to, uh, you know, if you didn't subscribe, please subscribe. Also, we uh, Body and Brain Centers are currently offering three week uh, free classes. So if you haven't experienced our body and brain practice, you can go to thebodyandbrain.com and you know you can experience our classes for three weeks okay and victoria thank you like the pinky toe massage and pressure yay your pinky toe was very happy okay <laughs> very good right and francis warmer smiling and grateful oh, thank you francis and ruta lots of tension on my left side oh yes so you may find a little more side uh, more tension on one side that means you need to open up and activate that part a little bit more. And Jurgita, thank you. Feel warm and more energy. Have a nice weekend. Thank you, you too. And Adriana, feel lighter. Yes. And Harshka, body got warmer and saliva in mouth. Right pinky toe more painful than left. Wow. Yes, that's an awakening. And Ruda, love your classes. Thank you. And Maria, felt body warmer, calm and awake. Thank you. All right, everybody, thanks for joining. And also, uh, I'd like to make a quick announcement for the next week's um, from May YouTube live schedule. Um, every Mondays, uh, we're going to have a family yoga. So, Yongguang Ni, she's a body and brain center manager in Conroe, Texas. Uh, this class is for whole family. Even children can join this. So, 1 p.m. Pacific time and 4 p.m. Eastern time. And every Wednesdays, um, a guided meditation and qigong will be 10 a.m pacific time and 1 p.m eastern time and every thursdays uh, we're gonna have a yoga and stretching at 5 p.m pacific time and 8 p.m eastern time so hopefully you enjoy those uh, live classes uh, also our um, other training programs at body and brain centers and let's keep getting healthier getting brighter so that we can and overcome this you no know, you know, challenging time together okay so thank you so much everybody and see you next week um, i'll see you on wednesday next week okay get bright have a good weekend bye bye thank you prem okay bye bye